Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Destiny 2's new update dropped recently. This guide will be covering all of the best PC as well as the game settings so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, set number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here, come down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It is an overlay service which consumes your CPU and RAM resources and disabling that will help you to improve your FPS. After that, go back to gaming once again, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. A lot of people have reported that game mode turned on actually gives them better FPS. So you guys can try it for your PC as well. Then come down to graphic settings and over here you have to enable optimizations for windowed games. Then click advanced graphic settings to use your default high performance GPU as your dedicated graphics card. This will help you to reduce input latency and utilize your hardware based graphics over your software based graphics. Then click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of your game. Once you find it, select destiny 2 over here and then select the exe file. Click on the add button and once that is added, scroll a bit down to find it. For the GPU preference, select high performance over here and then simply close your settings. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that open up Steam on your PC, right click on your game and then click on manage and then click on browse local files. Once you're in the game directory, right click on destiny2.exe and then click on its properties. Then head to compatibility settings and then click on disable full screen optimization, click on change high dpi settings and then select this option. Click on ok and then apply and once that is done simply close it. This will help you to reduce input lag. But before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you guys to Sky Coach, which is an amazing platform for personalized coaching and upscaling your gaming experience. Sky Coach has a library of over 103 games at this moment with blockbusters like World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, Fortnite and a lot of other games. If you are playing Destiny 2, you can simply select that and you guys can find all of the coaching services they have available for you. You can select your currencies over here in dollars and euros and simply select the service you would like to avail. Skycoach has a lot of pros that can help you coach difficult missions, improve your aim and help you farm in-game items easily. You guys can see over here they have dedicated raids, dungeons, portals and collecting exotic items on your account. You can simply sign up for free and avail their services. Skycoach.gg has a 4.7 star rating on Trustpilot with over 19,000 reviews. They also have a live support services which replies in a few minutes. I would definitely recommend you guys to go check out Skycoach.gg for free from the link in the description below. The next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here select your local disk C and then click on create. Name it Destiny 2 so you can remember it and I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step would be Destiny 2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It is a super useful tool which has over 6 folders to help you improve your PC. First one is CPU priority which helps you to optimize the performance of your CPU by changing the D word values. And here you'll find AMD and Intel folders. If you guys have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Second one is Destiny 2 priority in which I have left above normal, high and normal priority. And to apply that, you need to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll tell you which one you need to choose over there. Third folder is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of RAM registry. It could be different for you so you have to look up for the RAM. I have 32 GB so I need to apply this one. Does the same thing helps you to optimize your RAM. Fourth folder is power plans in which I have left import ultimate performance power plan. You have to right click on it as administrator. This will help you to run a PowerShell command to add a new power plan into your PC. Simply double click on power plans to open it up and select ultimate performance in this list. This will disable all kind of power saving features allowing you to improve input latency and reduce your packet loss. Fifth one is unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless for your PC but if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave them and disable every single one of them over here because they are unnecessary and they are running in the background consuming your CPU and RAM resources. And once again, if at any point you want to revert them back, head over to the revert registries folder to turn them back on. The sixth folder here would be the programs one in which I have left clean temporary files. To run it, you have to right click and run it as administrator. 
Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and it will delete all of your temp and prefetch files. I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then and it helps you to keep your PC optimized. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0, simply right click on it as administrator. This simple tool will help you to optimize the interrupt priority of your graphic card. To do that, simply select your graphic card in this list and click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high and then click on apply and once that is done, you guys will automatically see the improvements. Once all of that is done, simply close it. Next step is MS config and for that simply search for MS config over here and open system configuration up. Click on the boot button and then click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. And once that is done, click on OK. Also select no GUI boot and then click on the apply button. After that, click on the services tab and click on hide all Microsoft services. This will hide all of the useful Windows services. So now you guys can disable all of your RGB, RAM control services, fan control services and other browser update services. This will help you to optimize the performance of your PC by reducing the number of processes running in the background. Click on apply and then you wanna have to close it, restart your PC once and now let's head into the best in-game settings. Okay, There's once in your in game, locker. Probably press your upgrade escape key you. and then head over to settings. Right over here, come down to the video settings and make sure that your window mode is set to full screen. For the resolution, go with your native monitor resolution and V-Sync should be turned off. FOV, I have set it to 85 and increasing that might impact your FPS, so I would not recommend you guys to do that. For the graphics quality, anti-aliasing, go with off. However, you can try FXAA or SMAA if give you better FPS. For the SSAO, go with off. Texture quality, you guys can go with high or medium, both of them works absolutely fine. For shadow quality, go with low. Depth of field, you guys can go with off. Environment detail distance, go with medium. Character detail distance, go with medium as well. For the foliage detail distance, go with low. And foliage shadow distance, go with medium. For light shafts, you guys can go with medium and motion blur should be turned off. Wind impulse can also be turned off. After that, under the additional video settings, make sure to set your render resolution to 100. But if you guys have a super low end PC or if you guys are facing FPS issues, you guys can go with 90 or 80. It will make your game a little bit pixelated, but it will ensure that you guys will get stable high FPS. HDR can be turned off if your display doesn't support it and chromatic aberration and filmic green is actually a personal preference. It doesn't really impact your FPS a lot. Once that is done, press enter and restart your game and now you guys can drop into Destiny 2 with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button. Really helps me grow the channel. And since you are really close to 250,000 subscribers, I'd really appreciate you guys to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to check out skycoach.gg from the link in the description below and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.